Hello everyone and welcome to Lush and Salty Aquariums. My name is Stefan and thanks for coming to the channel. If you haven't already guessed, this is a baby brine shrimp hatchery. Um, this one is from Zis. You can find it uh, at Aquarium Co-op, Amazon, other places. It's not very expensive. It's generally considered the best. Uh, that you can buy on the open consumer marketplace. Obviously, fish breeders and fish stores might have a better rig, but for uh, the average Tom, Dick, Harry, or Sally, this, this is uh, more than uh, ample tool for doing the job. I used to make my own fish hatcheries. That works too, uh, but I like this, this one. Uh, it does have a few issues but they're not worth going into here. All in all, it's the best one I've ever used. And you put the heater up top, the air stone, um, and a light source, and you should be good to go. So the directions for raising baby brine shrimp are everywhere. They're on all the products you buy for that process as well as online, and they're pretty much always the same. So I won't go into that here and now. There is a hack though that when I started doing it significantly improved the hatch rates for my baby brine shrimp uh, eggs into actual baby brine shrimp. And I didn't think it would really make much difference, but it, it does and it's significant and you notice it from the very first time. So this is not unknown. I mean, I've read about it. I just sometimes got lazy didn't, and didn't do it, but it's to add a pinch, and I use more than a pinch, um, a, a few pinches, a nice little amount, not not a ton, uh, and I don't I don't have the it's not an exact science. I just kind of eyeball enough to where it's not just molecules, but a nice healthy pinch of baking soda into the mixture before you set it up, and swirl that around with your salt. And in this device, you use two healthy tablespoons of salt. And so I put in the baking soda with that and then three little scoops of baby brine shrimp eggs. The baking soda uh, uh, addresses a chemical imbalance in the water so that the shells are more able to break and hatch and the organisms have a better time of uh, emerging from their shells. It's, it has to do with acidity, hard water, what salt does, and how, and how to counteract it. Certain people with certain water parameters may or may not need to do the uh, baking soda hack, but why wouldn't you? I mean, I keep baking soda in my refrigerator anyway, and it, it, I just take that pinch, as I say. But man, I would say at least 25% better rates from Jump Street. And I just wanted to share that with you because if you're not doing it, you will be amazed at how uh, much better your hatch rates are if you start doing it. All right, everybody. Um, I don't have much else to say or to look at in terms of what this video is about, but it really is a game changer. So I hope you uh, do it and I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. And if you wanna to add to the science, do a better job of explaining than I did, feel free to put that in the comments. Otherwise, always keep your hands in the tank, or in this case, your baby brine shrimp hatchery. Don't forget the baking soda, ciao for now.